but like I said, the financial barriers can be the most obstructive to any type of project here. So if we can remove the requirement for infrastructure, then we can remove the associated hardware and software costs beyond that of the project itself, of the actual solution itself. So by being able to do that, and even by being able to remove capital investment in software itself and move it into a simpler model to be able to budget or to be able to handle more effectively, uh, we're talking about a return on investment that you will get month on month, year on year. Actually tie the software into that type of return as well, rather than a large upfront investment that begins to push your return on investment out months away, so you're taking the gamble, why not just have something that actually matches what it is we're trying to achieve as well? And if we're looking at budgets, we can move from capital expenditure to operational expenditure as well. And it certainly simplifies the return on investment model. If you are providing shared services or your managed service provider, being able to roll this out to different divisions or entities within your organization, being able to go to the different organizations that you support, and especially as a service provider bringing on new contracts or moving from contract to contract, having the knowledge that you're able to transfer the licenses without having to make such a large upfront investment in software for a contract that may or may not be there in two or three years' time. So a flexible budgeting model, implementation model that matches your needs as an MSP as well. So across the board, we're looking at something that can provide a simpler business case, a simpler implementation, whether you're looking at on-premise, hosted, or service provider, or from the same solution. We're not looking at losing capabilities or gaining capabilities in each of the different implementation. We're looking not just from the technologies I've said, but the way in which we can put this in to match the needs and overcome the barriers that are unique to the different organizations that are attempting to do PC power management. And why we do this? Why have we looked at this just beyond the technology? Well, we don't see PC power management just as a tick box. So by that I mean is there's a lot of people jumping on the bandwagon saying, well, we provide this capability. We see it in a lot of systems management tools, um, just organizations using group policies to try to do this. It is a very focused area of systems management. It's something that affects availability, the operational effectiveness of systems. So it needs to be done to save the carbon, to save the energy, to save the cost, but it needs to be done properly. So the technology must be able to account for this to correctly apply to all the different types of businesses. But it must also affect, must be able to take into account the business itself and the business needs. And that comes into the depth of the technology itself. The requirement for this isn't decreasing, it's increasing. We've heard from a number of organizations that maybe people are seeing this as a saturated market, something that people have already visited and they're moving away. As far as we're concerned, it's barely been touched. We're seeing growing legislation, growing drivers from a cost, from a tax perspective, that will be forcing people to look more closely at the different initiatives that they need to do. And the vast majority of organizations have still not put this in, and organizations that have tried to do this are not effective in the way that they've been able to do this. Technology is not enough. The way in which you put it in is what's required to overcome those barriers. If we're able to standardize, if we're able to provide solutions that are both professionally capable and technically capable to match the different organizations, and the platform itself is flexible enough so it suits the large enterprises of hundreds of thousands of systems, or the smaller en enterprises of tens of systems, what we do is we start to affect the greater majority. Now, we work a lot with the Climate Savers Computing Initiative, and we can see from the information we get from there, from our own experience, the people that are focused on, concentrated on, are the huge organizations. Most of the energy that's lost is in small, medium enterprises, and they need the same technology, the same capabilities as a large enterprises need. So, with a flexible platform and the technology, we're able to address that entire range, and especially for the service providers wanting to provide this to the customers, a single solution that can match whatever type of customer you're supporting is ideal. So, 
By doing this with the potential for zero infrastructure, we can extend PC power management way beyond the realms that it's already been visited to. We can hit the greater percentage of the devices and really make a difference in that huge amount of energy loss and the carbon emissions associated with the IT energy impact to the business. So we can remove most of the barriers to that and make this applicable to virtually any organization. And we can do this by making this a simpler business case. And Forrester showed the top priorities. The number one priority for an organization is the cost reduction. Now, very few have the carbon reduction as the top priority. So to be able to do that, the business case itself must be sound. The structure for it, the financial case, must fit. And therefore, the flexibility, not just in the technology, but the way in which it can be licensed and implemented is essential. And even if this is ultimately going to be an on-premise, the business case can be built without infrastructure involved in assessment processes, improving the business case as well, all an important part of the process. So a single solution that can manage you as an end customer, your end customers, even internally within the business, shared services, or any type of customer you're looking to provide to. So this can be a service you can provide to your own customers, standardizing on a single technology that doesn't rely on something already being present in the environment, an existing systems management tool that you're going to have to plug in the tick box type solution, something that can be delivered to single sites or highly distributed organizations, and something <laughs> that makes green IT more achievable. Justify that business case make the savings, generate a profitable revenue stream as a service provider, something that allows us to get up and running, saving energy in the lowest amount of time with the lowest financial risk. <laughs>